everyone, and welcome back to Earthbound Randomized, where I just got the key to the cabin. What's the key to the cabin, do you ask? Let's me open the entertainer shack. Where's the entertainer shack? Now, that would be in Onet. I can't get to Onet. Shh, just call up Scargo Express. They can come take that right away, because I can't use it. I can go back to Summers. Oh, I probably should have waited to... Whatever. Whatever, it's fine. They can find me. Look, I'm the customer. They can figure out where I am. I know I called you from another continent, but I expect you to be able to figure this out. Yeah, I think I, I think I, uh, confused them. Do I even have, I have, okay, I have money. Oh, I thought that for a second I was like, oh no, they found me. What do you have? You have junk. I don't need any of that. Matt doesn't help. What do you sell sell at your shop? Nothing that improves my life, unfortunately. There's a dog. I'm gonna look. You attacked me when I was but a helpless child. It is now only reasonable that as a level twenty-eight adventurer that I smite you and take your life. <laughs> I haven't gotten the phone call that they're lost yet, but they're lost. As I was saying, there they are. I have $18 to cover the delivery fee. Here you can have the hungry HP sucker because I can't do anything with that. You can have the key to the cabin. I think that's it. Uh... Okay, I just need to remember I have that. Cut to six episodes from now when I'm frantically looking all over for the stupid key to the cabin. Assuming I can ever get to it. I don't know how to get to Onet. So here's the problem. Is there's... I can't get into Threed because there's ghosts. How do you get rid of the ghosts? By having the uh, Runaway 5 show up and deal with them. Where are the Runaway 5 in Tucson? You need to go through 3 to get to Tucson. I can't do that either. Alright, you sir. You ready to take a child to their death yet again? Guardian Digger, I can do this. Let's do it. Twenty dollars. Twenty dollars to get killed by a mole. It's fine. It's totally fine. For some reason, it felt like those were on backwards. It didn't feel like they were fitting quite right. Here we go. Round two. Hopefully we deal with more than... Okay. No. Shut up. Trailing by myself all the way from Onet. As a... What? 12 year old kid does? Yeah. I mean, probably one of the things I like most about this game. I mean, this game came out when I was like... Nine-ish? Somewhere between like eight and ten. And so... You know, Ness was probably what, like, I'd say somewhere between like 11 and 14. I don't know. I think their ages are somewhere in the manual. I don't remember what they are. Totally fine. Uh, oh, yeah. This is, this is winnable. There we go. No problem. All right. I was supposed to come this way before I did the cave. Oh, man. I thought you guys were just everyday little kids, but you defeated Guardian Digger. I also opened the battle. I threw my slippers at Digger. Eh, maybe you didn't notice? Yeah, I didn't. I would have loved for the battle text to be like, Sea Captain threw a shoe and it missed. Like, at least don't make the man a liar. Hmm. I really wish I could get other teammates. <laughs> Ooh, but I can't. I need the trout flavored yogurt machine. Okay, 
master at sea. I beat him. Wait, could I have run away? That's a hospital. Wait. Is that an enemy? Oh, alright. Just the way he moved away from me, I'm like... Does he think he's in danger? What do you want? Um... Oh, wait. I do not have anything you would want. That's probably true. Look at all these shops. Okay. We're just gonna have to... He used to be Dungeon Maker. Now he's Dungeon Man. I would like to meet him. I'll give you the key so you can enter him. Oh, I don't have it. I must have lost it. So oh. I don't remember where the Dungeon Man key is. Mm, that's gonna hurt. No. Oh. Pokey Stink still hangs around the air. Yeah. Yeah, there's a joke that he uh, did his uh, business. We haven't even met Pokey yet. Uh, Vile Serum, Pizza, Boiled Egg, Exterminator, Casey Bat. So like I said, Casey Bat is technically the strongest weapon in the game. It deals the most damage. But it also has an accuracy of 1 in 4. So, not really worth it. You have nothing. Okay, how about you? I'm assuming all this stuff is actually going to be worse. Yeah, this is actually going to be worse than Foresight, because this is... It. Well, maybe not. No, I just, I don't have room for it, dude. I'm very sorry. Where is the Dungeon Man key? Oh! It's the the cranky old lady! It gives me like no experience. So, the, the tricky thing here is going to be not getting heat stroke. Where is that key? I swear it's somewhere. Okay. I know how to get in here. Uh, wait, what? Wait, why not? What? Do I have to call it them back? To get, uh, Escargo Express to get the, the hieroglyphic rune. Oh! Yeah, I bet they do that to make that item still matter. Alright, that's not bad. Defense down Omega? Okay, hold on. We'll just... Call it the old Scargo Express. All right. So what I think I was supposed to do. Is I think I was supposed to come here after. Oh, wait. I did this wrong. I just want that. Nope. I think I was supposed to level up and come here first. Is the uh, the sense that I get. That's alright. Now this is a, a little bit easier on me. Alright. Take your $18. I'm surprised that they don't make me pay that first. Like, especially since I could probably just pay it from my bank account. So water to those are thirsty. It's expensive though. Oh, look at all this. All right, we're good. Yeah, I bet they do this so that you still need this item. Say, what's that photograph you're carrying? Is that a little ram raisin? 
Can I have it? Yeah. I'm still not supposed to let you in, but everyone you could report me to is dead, so I'll make an exception. Oh, that's neat. Okay, so normally there's a pattern to getting in here. Now, if you already know it, you can just skip through, and you don't even need that hieroglyphic copy. So, what I'm assuming they did for this randomizer is made it so you actually needed to turn in that item to get inside, so that way that item was still relevant. Hieroglyphic <laughs> hippie. Oh, wait, what? Is that not an enemy? Does he not? Can he not? He can't get out of the wall. That's amazing. Oh, these guys suck. They take your. They take your PP. He's, oh no! I thought they were all stuck in the wall. That would have been fantastic. Thick, f thick fry pan. And I got another one. All right, I have no more space. I'm gonna have to get rid of one of those. Man, just that, I was like, that's a pretty good try. Oh, there's a UFO. I don't like UFOs. They can give you a cold. Uh, which I guess I can cure. All right, never mind. Doesn't seem like anything here can bother us too much. So I'm wondering if this randomizer is programmed in a way where like there is like a steady progression pattern. Like you'll fight Ona enemies seem to be in um, summers and then the the cops oh no that doesn't really hold up I have no idea I have no idea how they like figure out what enemy's supposed to go where because these are all like Tucson enemies but I couldn't have come here without beating that mole which is definitely a, a, a later enemy than anything else that we fought Psy Caramel inside eh. Don't really need two of these. I'm like, it sells well. I'd like it for the money, but I don't think I need it. This is what I love about playing like a randomizer that I haven't played before. Is just trying to figure out what the rules to the game are. Like, how does this work? So I know most randomizers are like done with like speed runs in mind, but I kind of like this style more like when I watch other people play randomizers like I like to watch people kind of like try to figure out how they work and where they need to go and that kind of stuff just a different style I don't think there's like a right or wrong answer just sweet we prefer hard hat which I think I Holmes hat I don't know uh, hard hat I think is worse than a Holmes hat. Oh, no. Okay. Upgrade. Perfect. Toothbrush. Garbage. Oh, that was lucky. I, I definitely deserved. I definitely deserved to not to get a uh, surprise strike against. Same thing there. Wow, that's... Very generous. I forgot. Do I do I need to do this to open up the gap? Why is Frank down here? Cool. Are you gonna heal me after I kill you? Oh, he died in one hit. Yeah, I was definitely supposed to come here before I did the, uh, the mole cave, that's for sure. Bomb, I don't really care about that. Okay, so that clears that path. I need to find the key to Dungeon Man, but it might not even be the key. And that also doesn't help me 
because that takes me to the deep underground, which I can already teleport to. Well, if nothing else, this is a more relaxing episode than the, the last few. Ooh, what are you? You're normally the Hawkeye. Yes. And not claim for just because you have too much stuff. Oh, it's a mean game. Um, let's see. What can we get rid of? Uh, oh, wait. Uh, let's use the... There we go. At the diamond. Okay. So the diamond I can go trade in to the theater manager in Foreside. Which doesn't necessarily... Oh, wait. Toy air gun. Um, that can go. Ooh, that was close. Well, at least I, f I feel like we're making progress, at least. <laughs> That's fine. That's kind of interesting that they jump out at me, even though it's an instant win. I do miss the hippie music. How much do I need to level up? Oh, a lot. Also, maybe it's just me. I feel like my psychic points are on the low side. I feel like HP is normal to high, but psychic points, level 29, I feel like you have over 100 normally. Well done, you have made it. The stars were told I would meet you here. So now it's time to show you the way to teleport to Onet. <gasps> Do you understand? There's only one answer. I must teach you to teleport to Onet, even if you don't want to. Ah, okay. Okay. I'm not sure if it was a dungeon man. There's a strange looking tower to the south. Don't worry, I already opened it. That would be an annoying extra task to have to do. So the key, does the key not exist then? Uh, do I have anything I want to sell? No, everything I wanted to sell is already gone. Okay. We have some choices to make now. We can go to Dungeon Man. It's now open. Oh, so he's like already stuck. Okay, that's nice. So normally you go inside. And then he joins you for a minute. And then he gets stuck right there. And then you have to go through him again. They cut that out. Again, this seems like it was definitely designed for speedrunning. Ooh. Oh. Oh, please. Please leave me alone. Oh, crap. What are you? Um, food bee. This music is way too peaceful. Just die. Just die. Woo! 22,000? Woo! That'll do. I didn't get me very much, but that'll do. What happened to the butterfly? Okay. I feel like the smart money... I'm gonna go to four side. Wait, did I get... I didn't get credit for that, did I? I want to go to four side. I want to do the runaway five thing because I think that'll unlock a th the option to get Hobbs. I'm like questioning. I'm like, that's what I, the stupid thing I named him, right? Um, 
Please come pick up. Because that'll let me get the diamond out of my inventory. That will... I think that's going to unlock the ability to get the trout flavored yogurt machine. All right, come on. Perfect. Exactly perfect timing. I would give you a tip if I could. So take the toy air gun. And take the thick fry pan. And I feel like I only need one of these secret herbs. Brainstone, drag a bag of night. Ba drag. <laughs> dag. I don't know. Bag of Dragonite could probably go, but we'll, we'll stick with that. Alright, there you go. I don't know. I, my brain has just become com completely and thoroughly fried. Alright, can I just give you the diamond or do I have to do it after the show? I'm gonna pay with that diamond? Okay, that's fine. I'll rip the contract. Don't tell me about the diamond. Now they're free. Diamond's worth maybe fifty dollars. I think I have to go see their final show. Headed to the three. <gasps> oh, okay, perfect. Oh wait, what? Does this mean I get to do my show? Oh yeah, you're on. I already have a key to the shack. What? What? Oh, that sucks. That's okay. So normally that's supposed to be. Wait, why are you guys still here? So normally, uh, Venus gives you a signed banana, like her autograph on a banana. Oh, crap. And then you trade that. Oh, crap. And let's get to another sanctuary location. I, it gave me another key to the shack. I don't need to. Why did it do that? There, I swear there was an option. There, there was an option to make it so that treasure chests and enemies could drop key items. And it made it sound like it was duplicates. So I turned that off because I'm like, well, that's stupidly easy. So I'm like, does that compensate? But why would it give me a second one? I would rather it just like... I would rather it have given me just like junk. Like, here's a toothbrush. So I'm not counting on it as like a key item, because now that I have two key items, I'm concerned. Like, it being useless is, is fine. <laughs> but now I'm concerned that that was supposed to be another key item, and maybe because I'd given it to... Did it do that because I'd given it to Escargo Express? I would hope not, because... Man, it seems like it's so easy to get so many key items. Now you just have nothing else in your inventory. Alright. We'll figure it out. So now I have two ways to own it. Because they're going to Threed. Which should unlock some things. Alright, let's go to Threed. It's the battle music. Fantastic. I'm waiting to get like a uh, copyright strike on a lot of this stuff because they, they already do like a lot of sampling in the game naturally. So I know like copyright claims are, are an issue playing this game. Whatever. It's fine. Alright. So the idea is that the Runaway 5 bus is just so loud and fast that doesn't matter. Ghosts will just drive right through them. <sighs> okay. So I can get to Onet. What does that do for me? Aside from just like, oh, well now the key to the shack isn't completely useless, so that's a plus. 
Yeah, see, ghosts come after you, and they're just like, ah, whatever. Ghosts. Alright, so everything here is messed up, as I would expect. So, is the next time I finish this... Hmm. Because you they do... Bring you here twice. It sounds seems pretty gloomy, but I'm sure you can light up the place with your own little brand of sunshine. Alright, bye. And they go back the way they came. How's your dad? You've been out there a long time. Nah, I'm fine. Go away. Shut up. You're not my dad. Wait. A hand aid. I swear it's like a full heal. Then totally not what it sounds like. Okay, pendant for I don't know what that is. Uh, nothing. I actually don't see anything here. All right. Why is there no music? Coin of slumber. Okay. I don't know what the okay pendant is. That's the Tessie watching. <laughs> All these things for Venus. Ugh. All right, we'll go ahead and call it an episode here. I hope you're still enjoying this. We can do a lot. We have a lot of things open to us. It's just a matter of figuring out which one's going to be the most uh, beneficial. So I hope you're looking forward to seeing what comes next. As always, thank you all so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.